Hi, this is Jason San Jose with the Flex SDK team at Adobe. I just wanted to show the mobile iOS theme that I posted to my blog yesterday, just as a proof of concept of how you can use CSS media queries to custom skin your application based on the platform, in this case, Android versus iOS. Um, so you can see on the right the new um, action bar skin that I've created here with a different gradient from top to bottom and a different uh, default chrome color. I have a beveled style action bar action content button over here versus the flat look one on Android. I've got a center aligned title versus a left aligned title. Um, you can also see that I have a different tab bar, excuse me, tab view navigator tab bar skin along the bottom uh, for iOS. Let's go ahead and jump into the next tab here where I have a custom list component. In this case I've added a custom title display skin part that lets me target in my two custom skins uh, a different display for Android versus iOS. So in this case I've got a little um, bar showing the, the title that matches the Chrome color and on iOS I, I don't have that background color um, instead I just have the title text. Um, you can also see that my custom skin on iOS is actually a custom item renderer that adds corner radius support so I can get rounded corners around my list and you can see the performance there looking pretty good uh, with the new Flex uh, Flash Builder 4.5.1 um, you can see I also have a different selection color. Um, again, this is all using CSS media queries. I'll go to the next tab here to show off some pop-ups. So on Android, you have a view menu. On iOS, since there isn't a menu button, um, the closest equivalent I found was the action sheet. So here you can see, again, using CSS, I've added icons in my view menu items on the left here on Android. And I've omitted those icons on the right but I've added some extra stuff here, so I've added a chrome color for my buy button uh, using a style name, and I've also added in my skin for the view menu a cancel button so that I can actually close this out since there's no other buttons to press on the hardware. Um, another simple example here is a panel skin, so on the left is a simple uh, rectangle uh, skin that I drew uh, programmatically in uh, the graphics API. On the right is a more complex you know, iOS alert skin, and then lastly, just to quickly show off something that most people don't know about yet, is overlay mode in your uh, views in, in the view navigator. So if you set overlay controls true in your view, you can actually get the content to flow underneath the action bar and underneath the tab view navigator tab bar. Uh, again, on iOS here, um, this kind of looks like the uh, iOS photo gallery. Um, again, you can see how the content flows underneath the controls. So if you want to learn more about skinning, um, check out my blog, blogs.adobe.com slash JasonSJ. And you can find me on Twitter at JasonSJ underscore Adobe.